اللهم دمر كل ساحر وساحرة اللهم دمر السحرة ومن شايعهم ومن الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد أحب في الله they are so many people who hatred and envy harbor in their heart and then these people they do so much evil but in fact in their conscience in their mind they think they are doing good but they are only doing evil to their own self and downfall of themselves today i'm going to narrate to you a story of a sister she says make lots of dua for her it begins by her saying I was looking <clears throat> to get married and I got married and I was over the moon alhamdulillah the marriage went perfectly I was so fine everything went perfectly the engagement the walima everything now me moving in the house I moved in a house of my husband where they have a big house and they have a garden big garden in the back and so many rooms and i was given one room to live and i was given a specific instruction after a couple of days i was given a specific instruction not to cook and not to do anything in the house there's a maid there for me as times passed by things started becoming difficult and, and she says i was starting to live a very traumatic life very difficult life my mother in law and my sister in law the big one the head of the family sister in law and the mother in law was where they were barricading me with the abusive and dirty body language one of the days i decided to go on clean my husband clothes i took the, my husband clothes on the way to the laundry i went in the laundry room started to search the pockets and everything of my husband to clean these clothes while i was searching i found a massive tawis like that and i opened it when i opened it i saw it with a yellow writing in it and random numbers and random random letters and i was ignorant I didn't know how to read. I was ignorant of the creator. I never prayed. I was ignorant in a lot of stuff. So, I was thinking, what is this and who can help me to read this? And straight away, I remember the maid that she's a righteous woman. She prays five times. And she knows how to read the Quran. And I go on to her and I ask her, "What is this, sister?" she read and she looked and said oh my lord this is dangerous because this is quran been chopped into pieces the words are not feel finished and the numbers are random numbers this looks to me magic and the sister was shocked she leaves and goes to her room anxious worried waiting who could be who could do this thinking everywhere who could do this but in her back of my mind it clocks back and she thinks the mother in law and the sister in law she waits for the husband to come back from work and he comes back the husband goes to the mother and greets the mother and everything and finish eating and goes back to his room found his wife when he found his wife there the wife greets and she gave her the breaking news and she told i found this in the pocket in your one of your pockets and this is black magic we need to go and seek help from the sheikhs the husband takes it and goes to the wife or to the mother when he goes to the mother and he told the mother mom i found this what's happening the mother say wallah it's not me and i did not do this and i don't know anything to do with this but where did you find it my wife gave it to me then she must have something to do with it and the brother just left there upon denial what's going on second day 
the mother approaches the daughter-in-law and she gives him barricade of abuse and she say you want to destroy my family you want to separate me from my son you 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 all this and she was shocked because she's not she doesn't she's not engaged in early cult and she took she takes it in because all these years she was taken in hit all these years she's been living she gave birth to four kids her and four kids are taking hits from the grandmother and the aunt which is the sister and sister in law and the mother in law in the night she goes to sleep she has a dream of three flies biting her skin and eating her skin she wakes up in the morning worried what is this dream to do with she search she search and discovers is to do with black magic now in her back of her mind she kn- she knows someone is up to evil who's that the mother in law on the sister in law because their evil is wide open now to their daughter in law and the sister in law the sister in law and the mother in law their evil is wide open to their daughter in law and the children and they don't care about anything now she started to pray seeking refuge to allah praying to allah to remove her from this ordeal after some times her husband finds a job abroad and when she heard it she was over the moon joyous and happy said alhamdulillah i'm coming out from this quagmire this problem this traumatic life i'm coming out the husband told her i'm tro- i'm going to the work and look and arrange everything and i'll come and pick you up he goes and works for some times and f- finalize everything and comes back and consult with the mother the mother says this woman does not deserve to leave this is her place and this is her house she's staying here you go work and come back and then husband goes and give her the breaking news to the wife and say my mom says this this is your place you deserve to be here and i can't uh, say anything to my mom she's my mom the sister in the back of her mind that my husband is upon denial that my husband is upon denial because of magic he's been planted in his body he can't see anything and he can't see what we are going through me and his kids and the mother ordered all the passport of the four kids she took all the documents she kept it she's got nothing to do with the wife but she just wants the four kids now every time she goes out from the house they have a spare key the family and she has a key she locks it she comes back cloth missing or cloth been chopped or cloth whatever or every time she leaves her house she has to hand over the keys of her room and every time she comes back the cloth missing cloth been chopped cloth. she was going through a lot this woman and the man is upon denial because the man whenever he comes back from this new work he found the mother cooks for him nice food and every food he loves and he takes it and the wife says that's what kills me because i know this is magic continuous he's eating and she says what in the back garden there's loads of cats and i know deep down this woman does not love cats on the day of eid al adha she poisoned the cats she gave the her poison and i was in the window watching and i was looking at the agony the cats were going through who were poisoned and they were dying agony and the woman standing there her and her older daughter laughing and joking and enjoying the agony of these cats are going through this on the day of al awful adha is very common eid al adha very common sihr happen there sihr al qurbani and all sorts of sihr happen on this day very normal so 
We ask Allah to protect us from any kind of sihr. And we should not worry about any sihr. So the mother-in-law killed all the cats. And she did her qurbani. Now, she says, I killed the cats because I don't want them to give evil eye to the qurbani I was doing, the goat, whatever I was going to slaughter. Look how evil is this person. The sister who was married to their who is, who is the daughter-in-law or the sister-in-law she did not hold it back anymore she went and confronted the elder sister who is her sister-in-law and she told tell your mama to fear Allah whatever she's doing this is evil this is not good this will come back Allah is watching and everything she told everything but the woman comes back and says who's Allah we don't even know if Allah exists and my mom, nothing is going to happen to her. This is how these people were doing to this woman. That there is no Lord exist. A lot of people go through this. But I will come to that in the end of the video, inshallah. Now, after some time, the mother brings a black card in the house. And that black card, the sister says, it's a very strange black card. She says, that card doesn't do anything apart from watching me. Everywhere I go, that black card is watching me or moving with me. And I thought, what is wrong with this card? And what sort of card is this? I was so much worried with this card. But deep down in my heart, I know, and my mind, in the back of my mind, I know the mother and her daughter are engaged in very dangerous game, the game of magic, of their own downfall. And one of the days, my husband comes back, and she prepared very nice food, very, very nice, and gave it to the husband, the food the hus my husband loves. But that food, something was in it. So the boy come, the brother comes back to the house, greets everybody, and changes and goes and eats the food. When he eats the food, he finish, he goes out to the cafes to meet his friends because he's back for holiday. And then it didn't take long, one hour, he's back. Pain, crying, <laughs> stomach hating, vomiting diarrhea, vomiting diarrhea. And the mother tells her, son, oh son, it's because you drank cold water. The cold water does this to you. And the wife says, deep down, I know my husband ate magic that day. Again. And the worst is that every time he comes for holiday, the mother prepares cakes or whatever, whatever, he takes it with him. This is the ordeal I'm going through. And my husband is upon denial. I need you to make dua for me, all of you, brothers and sisters. Ahibba fillah, ya ikhwan, you need to be making dua for our brothers and sisters who are suffering in this world. They are suffering because of low life, brothers-in-law. They are suffering because of low life, aunties. They are suffering because of low life, mother-in-law. They are suffering because of low life, father-in-law. And the list goes on. You need to be making dua for these people. These low-life people think that they are doing good, but they are not doing good. They are only doing evil to themselves because their demise is coming soon. Remember that Allah is not asleep, He's awake. Allah do not think that Allah is not aware of what they are doing. Allah is fully aware. So if you are going through this, because I know... Me, there is a lot of brothers and a lot of the sisters are going through this. At this moment, I'm talking, ones who are in it, one who Allah knows best, they're going to come and face it, and the ones who have come out of it. So, whoever thinks he's evil, his evil will come to destroy. And remember, when Allah can even easily stop you from urinating, and you're in trouble. So watch out. Go back and repent towards Allah. Stop your evil. Do not class a Muslim as a criminal. That is what Allah says. 
أفلا تجعلون المسلمين كالمجرمين do not do evil to a Muslim let alone Muslim anybody else be aware of your situation so hold tight oh you evil one out there be very careful you will come to your demise soon stay tuned for more Abu Yahya from the Ruqya Talk wa akhiru da'wana wa salamun ala al-mursalin wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen